In a park next to the Houses of Parliament in London, there's a statue of a woman called Emmeline Pankhurst. Emmeline Pankhurst was a suffragette. When she was born in 1857, women in Britain couldn't vote. Only men had the right to vote. When Emmeline was 14 years old, she joined the fight to win votes for women. This campaign started in 1832. It was called the Women's Suffrage Movement, and the campaigners were called suffragettes. At 21, Emmeline married a lawyer called Richard Pankhurst, but he died in 1898. In 1903, Emmeline and her daughters, Christabel and Sylvie, started a group called the Women's Social and Political Union. There were many other suffragette groups in the country at this time. In 1908, there were big demonstrations for women's rights. But nothing changed. Pankhursts were very disappointed, so they decided that the best way for women to win their rights was through civil disobedience. Emmeline organised a demonstration at the Houses of Parliament in London. The police arrested her and she went to prison for a month. In 1910, the police arrested 156 women at a demonstration outside the Prime Minister's house in Downing Street. But women still didn't get the vote. Emmeline and her daughter Christabel decided that civil disobedience wasn't a success. The group became more extreme in their actions. They weren't violent to people, but they broke windows and started fires. The police arrested a lot of members of the group and they often went to prison. Many people were upset by the violent campaign. Because of this, Emmeline wasn't a popular person and she spent many years hiding from the police. In 1913, a suffragette called Emily Davison died when she jumped in front of the King's horse in protest at a famous race called the Derby. But in 1914, the First World War started, and the group stopped their violent campaign. The war changed attitudes to women, and Emmeline started working with the government. In 1917, the British government changed the law. Women didn't win equal rights, but some women won the right to vote. Men could vote at 21, but women couldn't vote until they were 30. Sadly, Emmeline died in London in June 1928 when she was 69 years old. Just one month later, in July 1928, all women in Britain finally won the same rights to vote as men. <laughs>